Hello, I'm Barbara Inderwish, Assistant Director of Electronic Research Administration in UCI's Office of Research. This video is about how to use Cuyuse 424. We encourage you to use the Quick Start Guide. It is available for reference on the Electronic Research Administration website. Click on the link to download a PDF of the Cuyuse 424 Quick Start Guide for initiators. We recognize that everyone has unique learning objectives. While some may want to start at the beginning, Others may need just a quick refresher on how to accomplish a certain task in Cayuse. This video is separated into sections, so you can go directly to the topic that you choose. When you hover the mouse cursor over the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen, a thumbnail is generated revealing what you are about to see. Grab the position knob and move it to the right until you find the next full screen title. Another option is you can click on one of the time code links below the screen. Topics included in this video are how to access profiles, how to search for opportunities, how to create a proposal, how to create a budget, how to include an outgoing subaward, and finally, linking to Koali Koyas. After viewing this video, if you still have questions, help is available. Contact our UCI ERA support team for questions about Cayuse training and user access. eVisions, the vendor that is providing us with Cayuse, administers software support. When you're working in Cayuse, you can click on the support link in the lower right corner of the welcome page. Jonathan Liu, our ERA officer, is going to demo how to use Cayuse. Just keep watching. This section is about how to access Cayuse and your PI's professional profile. The information in the PI's professional profile will be used to autofill sections of the grant application that you'll be submitting through Cayuse 424 and that'll be a real time saver. That's why it's important to keep your PI's profile up to date. There are two types of profiles in the system, user profiles and professional profiles. A user profile grants you access to the Cuyuse 424 system. The user profile should be created automatically. Click on the research tab in Zot Portal and click the Cuyuse 424 link under Quality Coeus Proposals. Contact ERA support if you need access to Cuyuse. Once you are in Cayuse, navigation within the system is easy from the Overview tab. From here, you can search for and edit profiles, download grant application forms, and access proposals that you have created. When accessing Cayuse for the first time, make sure you have a profile set up in the system. I'll show you how. Obviously, I won't be using your information. I will enter the name Ann Teeter. After you enter your name in the text box, click Search. If you see multiple search results, Scroll down and locate your name. If you don't see an entry for your name in the system, contact ERA support and we'll create a profile for you. Also, PIs should have a profile in the system as well. If you can't find them in the system either, give us a call and we'll create a profile for them. Once you have accessed your professional profile, go through each parameter on the left to edit and complete any missing or inaccurate information. Be sure to mark your ERA role as assistant. Cayuse can autofill information from a PI's profile directly into an application form. As a department administrator, it would be beneficial for you to have access to their profile so that you can update and maintain it. Let your PIs know that as soon as they've accessed their own profile, they can designate you as an authorized user. First, they should click on the permissions link, which is the key icon located in the upper right corner of the profile page. Then they should click on add user to search for your name. After your name is added, the PI can check the appropriate permissions they wish to grant you. We recommend that your PI should at least check Read, Write, and Autofill. Once this is complete, you will be able to update and maintain your PI's profile. Faculty salaries and fringe rates were not added to the PI's profiles automatically. Adding this information is optional and at the PI's discretion. The benefit of adding this information to your profile is that it will get autofilled and the system can then do the calculations for you. This is where you enter salary according to your PI's appointment type, as well as the fringe benefit rate for budgetary purposes. If the PI decides not to include this information in their profile, it just means that you have to manually enter it into each proposal that you create. But once it is entered, the system will still do the calculations for you. This section explains how to search for opportunities in Cayuse 424. From the Overview tab, after you've logged into Cayuse, Click on either the Opportunities tab along the top or the Opportunities link. Although you will see a list of past opportunities available to choose from, 
we recommend that you always download the latest and most up-to-date application package. To do so, click on the Download Opportunities button. Next, enter the opportunity number or the CFDA number of the RFA that you're applying for. Then click Download Opportunities. You will see a notification that your opportunity was updated and downloaded. It will be the first one on the list with the most recent download date. If for any reason you can't find a particular opportunity, contact ERA Support. We're always happy to help. This section explains how to create a proposal in CAIUS 424. From the Opportunities tab, locate the application you just downloaded, as described in the previous section. Click on the green plus button on the left to create the proposal. A new window will appear that will require you to enter a proposal name. This is an internal descriptor of the proposal. It's not the project title. It's like a filing name, similar to the description field in Qualicoius. Next, you should select your principal investigator, choose a default indirect cost rate, select the number of budget periods, enter a due date, and select the validation type. Then click Create Proposal. After your proposal application file has been created, you will be able to move between pages by using the navigation panel on the left side. Whenever you switch from one page to another, the system will autosave the latest data entered. Entering data into the application is very similar to filling out the SF4244 form. You can go page by page or section by section or even jump around to complete your application. You'll notice that some fields don't allow you to type into them. That's because they'll be autofilled once you've selected a profile. For example, you can autofill your SPA officer's contact information by clicking the pencil icon on the right side of that particular section. First, select Signing Official AOR from the drop-down menu for ERA Role Filter. Locate the name of your SPA officer and click Add Applicant Contact. Now the greatest thing with Caius 424 is the real-time error checking. This will ensure your proposal is error-free at time of submission. The fields that require attention will be highlighted in green. As you enter data, you'll notice that the error count goes down. When your error count gets to zero, you'll know your proposal is complete. In order for others to access the proposal you've created, including your PI, access must be granted. This is automatic once you've linked your Cayuse proposal to KC. You will learn how to do this in the final section called Linking to Kuali Coius. You can also manually add access by going to the Permissions screen. For more information, refer to the instructions about granting permissions that are included in Section 1, How to Access Profiles. This section explains how to create a budget in Cayuse. We're going to talk about two types of budgets, the detailed, also known as r, &R budget, and the modular budget. Modular budgets are only used for NIH applications in which the direct costs for each year of the project are $250,000 or less. In all other cases, you'll just need to use the r, &R detailed budget forms. You need to activate whichever budget forms you will be using by clicking the small checkbox next to the budget type, either r, &R budget or PHS 398 modular budget from the navigation panel. Once you've selected a budget type, Proceed with completing the budget as you normally would. You have the option to jump from page to page, as well as from budget period to budget period. An important thing to remember when working on budgets, don't lump graduate student tuition remission in with fringe benefits in the salary section. This is a separate line item that goes under Section F, Other Direct Costs. A useful feature in Cayuse that you will appreciate is the Replicate Escalate function. After completing the first budget period, you have the option to replicate or escalate future budget periods, allowing the system to do all the calculations for you. The replicate and escalate function can also calculate a PI salary for the entire project. This section explains how to include an outgoing subaward in your proposal. What is an outgoing subaward? It's when you transfer a portion of the scope of work to another entity. There are two ways to include a subaward in your proposal. You can either create the subaward file on behalf of the subrecipient, or you can ask them to create the file and send it to you. If you want to create the subaward file yourself, click on Create Proposal from the Proposals tab. Then select Research Subaward Proposal, and then complete the subaward file.
Then link that file to your parent proposal using the Link Subaward button. The second option is to have the subrecipient send you the subaward file. There are actually two ways to do this, depending on whether or not they use Cayuse. If your subrecipient does use Cayuse, they can create their subaward proposal in their Cayuse system and then email the file to you. You could then link that file to your parent proposal by clicking on the Import Subaward button in Cayuse. If your subrecipient doesn't use Cayuse 424, they can use subawards.com instead. First, they would sign up for an account on subawards.com, and then they could complete the subaward proposal file online. The subrecipient would then export their proposal file and then email it to you. You could then link that proposal file to your parent proposal by clicking on the Import Subaward button in Cayuse. This section is about how to link your proposal in KC. Linking the proposal will automatically grant access to everyone in the workflow so that they can view it in Cayuse. Click on the proposal link icon for the direct link so that you can paste it into KC. In KC, under Abstracts and Attachments, you will see the panel for Cayuse 424 link. Paste the link into the text box. Once you submit your proposal into Workflow, your KC document will be linked to your Cayuse proposal. This concludes our instructions on how to link your proposal to KC. Remember, we're always here to help. In this video, we covered accessing and creating profiles, searching for opportunities, creating proposals in Cayuse 424, creating budgets, including outgoing subawards in your proposal, and linking to KC. We believe that Cayuse 424 will make your job easier and improve your chances of submitting error-free applications. Contact us if you need help. One-on-one -on -one training by our ERA support team is available. We encourage you to use Cayuse 424 for your next federal proposal submission.